Hi, my name is Lily, and as some of you know, I was diagnosed with cervical cancer at the age of 27. Uh, I'm 32 now. Uh, what you might not know is that at the age of 21, I received an abnormal pap test result. Uh, I think at the time, I thought I was invincible, and because I was embarrassed, I convinced myself to not go and get another pap and get checked out. So, I am making this video to remind you that it's not as scary and embarrassing as we sometimes think. Okay, so to prove that it's not as scary as we think it is, or to prove that it's not as bad as we think it is, I'm here getting my pap. So there's Dr. Tio. Hi, Dr. Tio. Hi. Do you want to explain a little bit what we're doing? Yeah. So basically a pap test, and we actually, a lot of times, depending on age, combine it with an HPV test so that you can have either one separately as well. Uh, we actually take a sample from the cervix. So there's different style brushes. This is the one that we use. And basically, if you look at the cervix, it actually looks like a donut. What we do is we just put it in here, swirl it around a few times, and just get a sample of cells and also can test for the HPV virus. We put it in this little um, container here. We send it to cytology and they tell us the PAP result and the HPV result depending on what tests are ordered. Um, you know, to see the cervix, we do use a speculum. You can have metal or plastic ones. Um, it's really not as bad as it looks, but basically we put it in the vagina, open it up so we can see the cervix. Um, and like Lily said, it really is not as scary as a lot of people make it sound. Uh, so if you're ready to get started, yeah, we'll have absolutely. you scoot down to the end of the table. My you least favorite part. You do have to feel like you're falling off, although I promise we've never <laughs> let anybody actually fall. So we'll bring a light in here just so that we can see well. Okay. Here we go. So here's that speculum. So I'm just going to put it in. And this is probably the most uncomfortable part, but... Lily, how bad is it right now? I don't feel bad. Okay. So now I'm going to open it up. So again, this can be a little uncomfortable, but Lily, what do you think of that? Not bad. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this brush and I'm just going to brush in the cervix here. So it might feel just a little funny. Um, occasionally, just because we are, you know, kind of roughing these up, you can get a little bit of bleeding. Usually not too bad though. Okay. I'm going to take this out because I know that's the most uncomfortable part. And then what I'm going to do is put the brush right inside here, cover it up so we don't spill it and lose your sample. Okay, and then the other part of what we do is we actually feel the uterus, feel the cervix and the tissue around, okay? So I'm just going to put two fingers in a lot of pressure, and how's that? Just one. Okay, okay, and I'm going to one hand up here, we're going to just put some pressure there, okay? And so to feel the tissue around the cervix too, and I know not everybody does this, but in your case, we're gonna do a rectal exam as well. So this is sometimes the worst part, mm -hmm. but I'm just feeling that tissue again next to the uterus, and that looks feels normal. Okay, you can push yourself up. You are all done. And just like that, we're done. <laughs> Easy.